In just a few months, New Mexico will have a new governor. But right now, a group close to our current governor is working to make sure no one forgets her. News 13's Brittany Bade shows you the website. I can promise you I will do all I can to make our home a better one and a stronger place. Nearly eight years ago, she made history. The first Latina ever elected governor of any state in the union. And now a new website is trying to make sure Governor Susana Martinez doesn't become history. I think at this time, all elected officials start thinking about their legacy, and this website really sings that tune. Political expert Gabe Sanchez is winging in on SusanaMartinez.com, paid for by the nonprofit New Mexico Legacy, a group run by longtime aide Jay McCleskey. It touts pages of what this group believes are her biggest accomplishments, including fighting crime by expanding Katie's Law, improving public education, and diversifying the economy by attracting businesses like Facebook. It also points out she's leaving the next governor with a $1.2 billion surplus. A lot of debate about how much credit she should get for that. Martinez will likely leave office as one of the most unpopular governors in the country with a 35% approval rating. I'm the governor of the state of New Mexico. Perhaps in part because of her more controversial moments. Like when she tried to push police away after they were called on her at a fancy hotel. And her appointment of Hannah Scandera, a wildly unpopular public education secretary. Approval ratings drop and their favorability drops. Sanchez says the website serves as both a resume and reminder of the good times. Reminding New Mexicans the things that she has accomplished in her two terms in office. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. We reached out to Governor Martinez's office. They said they weren't directly involved in creating the website, but McCluskey says she does support it.